The retrial of an accused serial killer got off to an hours and hours delayed start because one juror did not show up and had to be brought to court. Now the defendant is accused of murdering at least 18 elderly women, making it look like natural causes and stealing their valuables. Billy Shamir's first trial ended when a holdout juror triggered a mistrial. Fox 4's David Centendry covering the retrial and joins us now live. David. Yeah, Heather and Steve, the trial began late because juror number four decided not to show up. Instead, the 22-year-old construction worker went to work. And that's where a constable found him, brought him to the courthouse, and he told the judge that he simply forgot he was supposed to be in court today. Well, the judge had a few words with him, and then the retrial got underway. This individual right here, Billy Chamir. Accused serial killer Billy Shamirmir is on trial again for murder, accused of killing at least 18 senior citizens, smothering most with pillows before stealing their jewelry. These are some of the most vulnerable people that we have in our community. The trial, however, focuses on one murder, 81-year-old Lou Harris. Jurors, however, hearing deposition testimony from an alleged victim who survived an attack the day before Harris was killed. And he said... Don't fight me. Lie on the bed. Mary Bartell, who died in 2020, was 91 years old in 2018 when she told police a man entered her home and covered her face with pillows until she lost consciousness. And the um, pillow was smashed down so hard I couldn't even get my hand underneath it. Bartell survived the attack, but noticed some of her jewelry was missing. And the son of one of her neighbors noticed someone suspicious outside. He wasn't dressed like a maintenance person or anything. He wrote down the license plate and notified police, which led investigators to Shamirmir. Police say he was holding jewelry and that a jewelry box in his trash had Harris's name written on a tag inside. And he has Lou T. Harris's items in his hand and is discarding other items belonging to her. They went to her home, where she was found dead, lipstick smeared across her pillow. The keys to Lou T. Harris's house are in his possession. The actual keys to her house are in his possession when he's arrested. That led investigators to re-examine hundreds of deaths initially thought to be natural causes. Ultimately, Shamir Mir is charged in 18 deaths from 2016 to 2018. Shamir Mir's attorney chose not to make an opening statement Monday. In the past, they've called evidence against him circumstantial, but prosecutors believe he's a serial killer. And you'll see it all through your own eyes. Family members of many of the alleged victims were inside the courtroom today, just feet away from Shamir Mir. That was not the case last year because of COVID-19 restrictions. The trial is expected to last through the week.